What we're doing at the University of Canterbury is that we are studying the effects of vitamins and minerals like zinc or magnesium or B12, vitamin D, on psychological symptoms. So we're seeing whether or not we can improve people's mental health just by using nutrients that are things that are in your food, but at levels that are higher than what you typically get out of your oranges and apples and your vegetables. We've got um, studies that are going on in my lab on children with ADHD, or we've also had studies looking at the stress related to earthquakes. We have other studies that are just looking at things like depression and anxiety in adults. We give people people either the vitamins and minerals or a matching placebo. Everyone is blind to what they're taking and then we follow them for 8 to 12 weeks to see what happens to the symptoms that they presented with. So far it's been amazing, very encouraging. Um, we've been doing this for 10 years now so we've published a lot of research over that time and all of our studies are pointing the direction that nutrition is incredibly relevant to mental health. And then I think at some point I'm going to start thinking we need to be really um, investigating whether we can prevent these symptoms from occurring. So starting a lot earlier, so looking at whether or not if we gave nutrients to women during pregnancy, for example, can we ha offset some of the challenges that their children have uh, by ensuring that they're well nourished during pregnancy.